Hey YouTube, this is Augie with Premier DJ Services. I want to look at a new light that I just got in today. Uh, this is the American DJ Eco UV Bar Plus. Uh, this is the new version of this light. This is the Plus version. There was an Eco UV Bar that was out previous to this, uh, but this is the Eco UV Bar Plus. Uh, the difference is the, uh, the wattage of the LEDs. I believe the previous version, if I'm right, had one watt LEDs. This light has three watt LEDs in it, UV LEDs. Uh, so that's the main difference in it. So if you're shopping for these, uh, be careful and make sure that you're getting the newest version of it with the higher output, uh, unless you're looking for a bargain and maybe somebody's trying to get rid of some of the older versions. Uh, but uh, let's take a look at the fixture itself. This is the light here. This is a three meter light uh, so it is a, a linear style light uh, it has got as I told you has 18 UV LEDs mounted inside of here with a uh, with a plastic lens over the top of it the rest of the housing is completely diecast metal very very durable feels very sturdy uh, but also still fairly light it's, it's not that heavy at all uh, as you can see here on the back side, we've got two mounting brackets. Uh, these mounting brackets, one thing that's very cool about these is the it's got a little knob on each one of them that you can loosen up and you see these can slide in and out. This is very handy for, let's say you don't want to mount it horizontally, you know, hanging from your truss or up on top of your truss. Maybe you wanted to mount this vertically instead of horizontally. You could put these together to where you would have, you could do it on a 12 inch, you know, maybe a 12 inch truss, standard size truss, and mount it up vertically by sliding them together like that and then holding it up like that. And then you could have the, it mounted vertical instead of horizontally. Uh, but the, uh, like I said, the, just loosen that knob and that allows that to slide back and forth and then you just tighten those back down and then the bracket itself has another knob on it that allows you to move that so that you can be even more flexible with uh, how you mount it on your truss just gives you a greater flexibility mounting wise now this light is very simple uh, I'm gonna let you zoom I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit here and let you see some of the uh, the only features to it. So hang on just one second. All right, on this end of the light, the cord is hardwired in. It's not like a lot of fixtures where you have to you know plug the cord in. This one is actually hardwired in, uh, and then it has an on-off switch, and that's all that there is to the light. This light is not DMXable. Uh, you cannot control it by your controller or your uh, con software control. Uh, it is just an on-off type UV light, uh, which that's fine. What I'm going to actually do with it uh, is once it's mounted up onto my truss, then the cord will be plugged into uh, power that I have up there that is then routed down uh, the one leg of the truss, and then I'm going to plug it into one of the American DJ, the little four, uh, button uh, switchers that they have so that I can control when it's off and on. Uh, but like I said, that is the light itself. Uh, three meters, on off switch, hard wire. You can again see the bracket here that we loosen that. That allows us to move this bracket this way to give us some flexibility in mounting. And then we've got the little knob here that we can allows us to slide this back and forth so that we can do a vertical mount or whatever we want to do. Uh, so that is the light itself. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a little display in my hallway uh, to give you a uh, visual demonstration of the output of the light and the uh, actual UV capability of it to, to make white uh, really pop. Uh, so I'm going to set that up now and uh, I'll see you here in just right. a second. So now we are looking down my, the hallway of my home. Uh, it's about a 25 foot run. Uh, the walls, as you can see, are a tan color. Uh, the doors are painted white, uh, so they are solid white. They're not an off-white. 
Uh, and then what I've done is I've scattered some uh, just plain white t-shirts down through the hallway. I've got one right here that is uh, hanging off of actually a doorbell uh, that is uh, in the hallway. I've got one here hanging off a picture. I have one back here for reference uh, against the white door. And then I have two here on the floor, one a little further away, one a little closer. So now we're going to turn our light off. And what you're going to see is the uh, Eco UV Bar Plus uh, actually does give off visible light. Uh, it is not just you know where it's going to give going to illuminate the white. You are going to have some visible light here. If we were to turn this light off right now, which I will do, you're going to have pitch blackness. But if we turn it on, you can see it's actually going to you're going to see visible light. It's going to light up a room uh, somewhat. But what we're looking at here is what is it doing to the white fabric of the t-shirts. As you can see, you're getting a really good glow on those. And the closer it is, the brighter that glow is. Uh, but what I want you to notice is back here in the back, look at that white t-shirt versus that white door. Uh, it does actually react much better with fabric versus a painted door. The door uh, in real life, what I'm looking at here, is you're just getting a real nice purple glow uh, coming off the door. It, it makes it stand out from the, you know, from the tan wall, uh, but it is obviously not glowing like the t-shirt is. So anything white in the room that is a fabric, uh, or I've also noticed it reacts very well uh, with paper, uh, anything like that, uh, so linen napkins, uh, paper, anything like that is really, really going to pop out in the room. Uh, anything that is a white painted surface, you're going to get the purple glow. Uh, but you will have visible light, just like we do here. And like I said, I think that that is actually a good thing because especially like at a, a high school dance, uh, I've got the prom season coming up here. And I know, you know, the last thing the teachers want is kids in a pitch black room uh, with, you know, just, you know, the what whatever white they have on glowing, but no other uh, visible light in the room where they can't see what's going on. Teachers don't want that. Chaperones don't want that. Uh, so with this, you do have some visible light that is going to give you this nice purple glow. So the Eco UV Bar Plus by American DJ, uh, this is our visual demonstration of the UV capabilities of it and the fact that it does actually give off some uh, visible ambient light in the room. Uh, so this is Augie with Premier DJ Services. Till next time, see you then.